Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn today, and today we've got a little more movement to do. We've got a couple of projects that I want to see get done. So the first thing that I think we will try and do is we are going to try and get some water from this main reservoir to fill this all the time, and we're going to eliminate this fluid dump. That's going to take a little work. Uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to try and move most of the housing today. But to get this fluid dump out of here, we're going to need to draw, like I said, directly from here. To do that, we're going to have to, of course, have a path for the water to flow. So we're going to take that out. That's going to give us a couple of extra beavers. No big deal. Let's go ahead, get in these. Now, we're also going to come up here and we are going to make sure that we don't flood this area when we take this dam out. So, we're going to grab a couple of these pieces. Let's grab the tall ones here. And, yep, we'll do this and this and that. And then we'll grab the twos as well. Put those right on top. There we go, kind of like a patch, I guess you could say. And they can build those. If this little bit floods, I'm not that worried about it. It will mostly flood into this area anyway. But we'll come back to that once we've got those, that, that small side patch in there. Last time I cleared out a little bit of this dirt over here just to make it a little square. However, we're going to go ahead and start moving around some of this stuff. We're going to lose some of our uh, our well-being for just a bit, but I'm hoping that if we can move most of this stuff over, we can set up our new housing complex to take care of most of those well-being needs. So we'll put in four. We're going to do one for bread, one for crackers, and two for pastries because they eat the pastries really, really quickly. So I figure we might as well make sure that we can keep up with them as well. Some other projects that I would like to get started on is we're going to continue on making this reservoir just a little bit bigger. We're just building this out in pieces, but that's okay. Sometimes that's how things get built in the real world. People build something and then they decide... They want something better, so they just keep on building. So for now, we're just going to build out across here. And I'm going to put in, let's see, we definitely don't need these anymore. Uh, are we going to need those? We might need those, but we might have to reroute this to over here. There we go. We'll do this, that, and we'll go ahead get those in there there we go this i'm just going to get rid of we don't need that much antidote we'll pick it up eventually now here i want to use something that uh, we haven't used yet but i've used quite a bit in the past let's see if i can find it it is under tunnels there it is we're going to do the tunnel through the levee here there we go Now that will let our beavers walk through here and come all the way up to here and still get out to the outside of the map. Basically, it's just an easy way for them to get through here. So we'll take this and for now, we'll just come across here. Something like this, just taking the, the reservoir along with the natural portion of the land here. So we'll go up here. And there's that, and that will expand it out just a little bit so that we'll get just that little bit more. We might even eventually start putting water pumps down here as well as up here. Our little pressure lock is in here, so we're going to go ahead and take this out of there. There we go. We'll get, like I said, probably just a little flooding, but there we go. It dried up in no time at all. We're going to take and we're going to put in... First of all, a couple more dynamite here. We're going to need those. Once those are in, we'll come back and take a look and see what we actually need to do to keep this water 
full from over here all the time. They've got all our bakeries in here, so that's kind of turned out to be our baking district. We'll put some storage in there, but that means we can get rid of these two. And that should be good to go there. I'm also going to try and move this here. Let's just move you over to here for right now. It might not stay there, but we can go ahead and let them get started on it. Now here is where I want to put the main housing complex. So it's kind of in the middle of everything. The beavers can just go out to whatever it is they need to work on. So we're going to start with something. Let's say I'm going to take a line from here. And there we go. And in this center here, I would like... Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get in this right here. Now, what this will let me do is this will let me put in one of these fountains of joy without uh, having to build anything up around it. It'll just keep the water in there, hopefully, if it cooperates. But we'll let them put that in first and we'll come back to it. Something that we have been needing for a while is our dirt excavator. And we just have to have a place probably right here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's set it up there. And we're going to come through the mountain with the power here. So let's see. We will want to put in some more single dynamite here. Have to get rid of those, though. There we go. We've got rid of that. Everything is good there. And then we'll just take the power probably, probably from here. Go down and around and into the side of this here. Let's uh, just put in, we're going to use one levy here, and then I'm going to actually use something that else that we haven't used before, which should be, is that underwater? Let's see where that's at. Sometimes it is difficult to find, there it is. We're going to do the universal powered levy. And you'll see why that is eventually, but we'll come back to that. That's plans for later. They've got our dynamite in here, so we're going to go ahead and take that out. There we go. And then here, under the water, we now have a one-way valve. And what this valve does is, as long as there's water on this side here, it will try and make this the highest level that the water goes here. So it'll just be pulling from this reservoir to fill this directly after this. And the best part is you can just put platforms right over it. There you go. And then we'll fill this back up. Once that's rebuilt, we can get rid of all of this. And we should be good to go on that. Our dynamite is in here, which they got that done pretty quick. So we'll go ahead and come on through here. And we will put in... We'll grab this. There we go. Now I think I'd like to face it out this way. Oh, I thought I had enough science. We'll come back to that when we get enough science. But there should be enough science here before too long. So what we're going to do here is same thing. We're going to... Remove this, and then we'll put a levy in here and redo this portion as well. Actually, I was looking at this, and we might actually need to come out one more on each side to this. Well, technically, I don't need to do that here, so uh, we will uncancel that. I just need the two of them put in there, but I will need that removed as well. So hopefully they can get to that from these stairs. If not, we'll figure it out. We still have a bit of a wave machine here, so we're going to put in ladders back up here, and then, actually I can probably go ahead and get rid of this. Let's remove that, and we'll say, let's toss in some levees here just to prevent that splash over. And hopefully it bounces off the wall and goes right into the river down here. I'm going to sacrifice a couple of these trees here. 
we are not needing the maple syrup, as you can tell. So we do want the lumber. So let's go ahead and just toss in a couple of these. And we'll say, let's go ahead and cut these for now. And actually, we'll cut these too. And we re might replant those as oak. Oops, I don't want to cancel them. Let's not, let's not destroy them. We want the, the cut trees area. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. But we don't want them replanted either. So we'll let them grab those. I'd say these are a little more important so they can get stuff in there. Since we're a little low on lumber, I'm going to go ahead and send out a couple more lumberjacks as well. We're going to put one up here. We actually might put in two. It won't hurt to have the extra manpower or beaver power, I guess, up here. And if we get to it, we get to it. If we don't, we don't. We'll shuffle some beavers around. For instance, we don't really need them right now. We definitely don't need them doing that right now. And yeah, we'll just find beavers as we go. It looks like our dirt excavator is in, so let's go ahead and see if we can take this out. They've got these to do, which they should still be able to connect. Let's put in the power to this. We'll go here. We'll get the four-way change there. They've got the dynamite there. Let's get power, and we'll just put one of these in for now. And we need... We'll do that one first so they don't get stuck trying to do that one later. We'll get this in here. And we will come across and connect in here with this. So hopefully eventually they get all this in and we can get some dirt. While we're gathering trees from all over the map, I figure we could come across here and start gathering up some of these as well. So we'll go ahead and put in one here for each of these. Mark these to cut, and then hopefully that'll help the lumber supply for now. I don't know how long that will last, but some trees is better than no trees, right? They've got everything in here, so now this should always be filled from this one-way valve. Well, as soon as we remove these from it. So let's go ahead and remove that. We'll remove this one too, and then we'll leave that one for just a second until they pick up some of these, these piles here. But that does mean I can remove this, and I'm not 100% sure how they got to that. They said they couldn't before. Strange. Maybe they changed their mind. Oh well, we are just going to put that in there, and then we are going to do the same thing here. We are going to, they're going to need, let's see, definitely one there. And we're going to need two of these there and there. There we go. Get that in there. We will plant you. And once that's in, we'll do the same thing and put another valve in and then put another levy back on top of it. In fact, we can go ahead and detonate that. There we go. Now over here, I'm thinking we can probably take this water and put it into here. They have a different type of valve that might let us do that. However, I'm going to have to move this again, and I just put it in, but that's okay. I move stuff around all the time. It will be just fine. However, I don't want that too wide. I only want that one wide. So there we go. So we'll get those in. Let's say that. Well, they're almost done with that. We'll let them go. We've got that dynamite in there, so let's take that out. We'll take you out of there. We're going to remove that. They're not going to be too happy about that, because that's kind of a major path for us. But we'll get these out of here, and then I need the same thing over here. Let's remove this one, this one, this one, and that one. And hopefully they can get in there and remove those. Yeah, looks like they can. Good. So we'll tell them, let's put in the levees here. There we go. We've got dynamite. That's all in. 
Are you levied up? You sure are. We can take you out of there. There we go. We're going to need one dynamite right there. And then we'll put a one way in here. And that should get water all the way across here. Looks like they've got the levees in here. So we can go ahead and take that out. And we'll take this out. And now we need two dynamite here. There we go. In fact, I don't think I actually need this dynamite. Just this one. Oh, and they've already got this one in. They're working fast. Let's get that out of there. And we'll come back over to this. Let's get the one-way valve here. There we go. Grab one of you. Put you on top there. And that should get us the uh, water being filled from here. So it'll be being filled from this reservoir that's also filling the rest of this, which should fill the other two here. We've got our dynamite in here, so we're going to go ahead and detonate that out and then come back over here. And now we're going to get this one-way valve H, which lets us move... Well, there we go. Let's us move the water up one tile. And we'll block everything off for us. So once that's in, then we can also take this fluid dump out. And these two ponds should be self-sustaining after that. In fact, speaking of which, I can take this out. And there we go. That should fill this up without too much problem. And then once this is in, it'll take from here, fill this up, and everything should be good to go. Let's just make sure I've got those replanted. Our excavator has power now, it's just it doesn't have any extract. And the extract is quite a distance, so we're just going to pick one little storage tank here for it, which should be plenty for now. We're going to toss extract in it, and we're going to say obtain. That way these guys don't have to walk so far for it. They've got our valve in over here, so let's go ahead and, well, we want to remove these. There we go. Now that should keep this area pretty much full, which means we can get rid of this and re-put those in there. And now that we have a pipe that will take care of all of that, everything should be good to go. It should stay nice and even for us. Now that they have this all sorted out we can go ahead put in platforms just to get them connected back in we're still waiting on the science for our uh, large monument here however we can start doing a little bit of planning let's see if we can you know what we're just going to fill in this many and we'll fill in this many over here there we go and here let's make a nice brick path I believe it's going to have to stay this far away from it, one outside that. So we'll just make a nice plaza square here. And let's take a look and see, do we want to get, yeah, let's get some triple lodges in here. We're going to start with something like this. And then do we want to come around? Or do we want one back? You know what? I want one back here. There's three, six, and we'll do nine of them here. And each one is going to get its own special metal staircase. There we go. One there, 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 there. There we go. So that's in there. And that will hold approximately, what, we have 3, 6, 3, 6, 9 times 9, 81 beavers. We're definitely going to need a second row, though. So let's go ahead and plan for at least another section up here. We're going to do just a couple more on top. Eventually, I would like to get a lot of this replaced with uh, actual... Like uh, robotic beavers, so that we don't have to have quite as much population. Ooh, that does not look right. Let's let's rethink that. We're going to move you over one. There we go. That should do just fine. Let's go ahead and get 
We'll let them build all of this, and then we'll come back and we'll decorate as we go along. With our dirt excavator in, we can finally put in our next part of it. Let's get a terraforming station here. We're using all of our science for everything except what we need in the fountain in the middle, but that's okay. We can always put that in later if we have to. But we're going to make that a little more important. Then we can take care of these. Let's go ahead and unlock these while we're at it. And there we go. That's definitely the first one that we want to take care of so that we can move those over. But we'll let them work on that. They're still working on these houses in the middle, so that's going to take a minute too. Since this is about all the population that I think I want on this map, most of the new stuff is going to have to come in by bots. So we're going to put a bot factory down here. Let's go ahead and grab the science for that as well. Well, let's do that. We'll spend the, spend the resources for that. And this will usually fund about two of these worth of items. So... Let's see. Actually, do I want to move those back one? No, those should be fine. And what I'm going to do here is the same thing we did before. We're going to come over here and we're going to put one arch above these. There we go. Oh, I might need a two. Those are taller than I thought they were. They don't look that tall. Oh, well, we'll get a two in there. Twos twos and then we'll do arches on top of that let's get ladders in here for all of these same thing here this way and we're going to need of course the two platforms to get up there there we go and here let's a power we're gonna use this and just do two of those we'll come out of there actually I don't need to come out of there I just need to put another one of these on there but we'll wait for them to get all of this done before we put a second one in well that was really quick I wasn't expecting them to be done with that quite so soon so I'm gonna pause this we don't need it quite yet actually I missed a couple didn't I I need these right here so they can come out here fill those out and then we're going to move the dirt storage over to here so everything is nice and symmetrical we'll go ahead take these up those we'll get the arches over here and that goes in here actually don't need these two so I'm not sure what's taking them. They probably have to go and get the dirt, maybe. But they can build all of this. Then we need that. And you know what? I am just going to do that. Just make it one square. And that can come around here. We'll grab a path. It can come around the edge. Let's go ahead and put in twos all down here. So that it's one big square. And we'll say that's for dirt. This is for dirt. And... Oh, wait, that's not a dirt. That's a scrap metal. Okay, well, that makes a big difference. Those are slightly different items. There we go. We will put that in. Let's get the path in underneath here. Get it connected back in over here. And there we go. This is looking good. Oh, and our houses are in as well. They're building really fast today. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. So we can take out, let's see, we have 9 times 9, 81. So these are each 3. So there's 9. I'll go through and pause all of these and start getting them moved over here. And then we'll come back and look at the decorations that we're going to need to put in here. Well, there is our first level in. We've got everything paused that we need. So let's go ahead and see if we can put in some more stuff here. Let's take a nice, maybe some curved stairs here, some curved stairs here. 
There we go. And that can come up. Actually, let's just get one of these. And can I put in... There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Same thing over here. Well, let me just grab that. No, of course not. So we'll do that. Grab you here. Wait, is that up too high? That's not up too high. We're good there. Let's put in these all the way around. There we go. Those can go there. I think I missed one. Let's grab the brick path. We'll go around here, here, and down to here. There we go. Oh, that's still not up high enough, is it? Nope. I should probably pay attention to what I'm trying to build here. So these actually need to be threes. Let me get that fixed and we'll be right back. There we go. Now we've got them at the correct height. So that'll give them access to all of these. And then we can start decorating from there on out. Something that we don't have yet, but we're definitely going to need if we're going to be making bots is some of the refineries. This is what fuels our bots for these particular, particular type of beavers. The iron teeth, they have to be wound up. The folktales, they got to run on fuel. So let's see. I was going to put it there, but let's see. Can we get them in? Maybe here would be better. Let's try that. We're going to start with four of them. We might do three biofuel and one catalyst and then switch it over to two and two. But we should be able to make some of that and we'll need storage for them over here. So let's grab just a medium warehouse. There we go. We're going to need storage. We're going to need a little more storage. There we go. And then we're going to need some large tanks over here to store both. So we'll do something like this. Nope. Actually, we're going to go over one and over two. And that will let us make arches there if we should need to. We've got our base for our housing setup, which means we can come over here and actually we're just going to get rid of all of these houses. We're going to get rid of all of these. Yep, there we go. We'll get rid of these here. Yep. And now we can start working on this side as well. We won't need all of this. We won't need this. We won't need any of that. We won't need any of this this we'll leave this road though just so they can get through there and we can delete most of this right here as well there we go put this back through there and the last three items here there we go And we'll get rid of those. Actually, should I get rid of those or should I build those up? I feel like I should build those up for some extra farmland in here. Um, We'll get rid of that for now. Oh, there was some other tiles while I'm over here. I need to make sure that I get those filled in. So we'll let them clean all this up. There's quite a bit of logs there for them to go through. In the meantime, they've got some stuff over here that they could definitely be putting in. We don't quite have the science for 
our final monument, but we can do a couple of other monuments here. So we'll do, let's see, let's do these two here. We'll do some decoration blocks around back here. Let's grab, uh, do I want, yes, I want the wooden pieces. There we go. Wooden ones there. We'll do two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. There we go. And let's see. Do I want those up slightly higher? I do want those up slightly higher. Let's take a look here. We'll put you in there. You, this, and this, this. And we'll put one in the middle here. And let's go ahead and get in the bonding ones here. There we go. And we'll get in some more decorations here. What other decorations can we have? Let's do shrubs out front here. And we'll do one there. One there. A shrub every other one. Something like this and this. Is that even? Yeah, that's even. Oh, and then we need two more. Shrub here. Shrub here. Let's grab our lanterns. Got a lantern, a lantern. Same thing. More lanterns in there. There we go. How about some statues back here in the corner? That should cover most of them. Statue. We might figure out a way eventually to make those statues a little easier to be seen. But for now, they will do just fine that way. Let's get in. A couple of bulletin boards. We'll probably need some up here on the upper levels as well. We'll put one there and one here. Yeah, they're, they're within range there. They should be okay. We'll do that and then... We'll get a couple of scarecrows to watch over the fields from here. And then we just need... Well, let's put in some roofs up here. We'll do something like this. There we go. Large roofs. This is where I'm missing the roof decoration mod. So hopefully eventually that comes back. And we'll leave it at that for right now. They are up and going on the production over here. They're still waiting for some biofuel to come in, but mostly they've got everything they need to get going. So we're going to go ahead, put in that last one here, and then hopefully they start making some bots. At our current rate of science, it is going to take forever to get our fountain. So we're going to go ahead and grab the observatory. We're going to get maybe one or two of those in here. Let's see. First things first, we're going to have to figure out how to get them power. So let's go ahead. Put that in there. And then I think we're going to need at least a couple more. Nope. Actually, what we need is to go from here. And we'll grab power. We'll come out this way. Yep, and then we will turn. Actually, I'm just going to put one of those in. Let's get you in here just in case we should need to change anything. And now we can put in these. And we will grab this. I should be able to fit in two here. If I just put it on top of that, I don't need any of those. So, quick rethink of the plan here. Here we go. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. There we go. Let's just put in these here, these here, and we'll do this the easy way. 
do this and this. And we will come across here. And that should be powered. And now we should be getting plenty of science after that. We seem to have come to some sort of problem with our one-way valve here. It was working, and now it's simply not. So maybe I can... Will that make it work? I'm not sure. I might have to go to the forums and see why that one doesn't work. Because to me, that should still be working. It's got water here, so it should be pulling it up and into this. So not sure there. We'll figure it out eventually, though. Uh, for the meantime, though, I will have to... Let's see. Well, we'll go ahead and... Pull those two back out. And we'll put a water dump back in there. And we'll figure out later what's going on with that. It was working, but just now doesn't want to. We've got beavers working in various projects all over the place, but there's a couple more things I'd like to do. For instance, I'd like to get all of our grills moved over there. Then we can free up this space. I'm also going to put in some more landscaping here. Let's see if we can fill this up here. Something like that. And then we'll come back afterwards and fill this up as well. Then we can also take a road around here. There we go. And I'd like to get a little bit of storage in here. So we're going to need storage for them anyway. Uh, I don't want the long ones. I want the tall ones. So we're going to do tall warehouses for each one of these different grills here. We're also finally starting to get some bots in. So I'm going to switch over the farms first as we seem to be having a bit of trouble keeping in the basic ingredients for food. And that should help us out just a little bit. We'll be able to actually put in some beehives in here as well to help out. Over here, they've got pretty much everything they need for the biofuel. I suppose we could put in a water container here, but really, I don't think we need it. They can get their water. But for the catalyst, we do need a little bit more. So we're going to toss in of medium tanks here it looks like i'm gonna need to come around the outside of this there we go and then we'll store the ingredients for this here notice our beavers are unfortunately not doing so well they are becoming very clumsy so there we go let's see if finally let me select that We'll put in a couple more of the medical bays. In fact, we'll put a couple more in here as well. Let's see if it'll let me... There we go. Put some behind there. That'll help get the population up just a little bit, or at least them up and on their feet and hopefully back around. You know what? Let's put in a couple of these as well. Then they have a couple more places to rest. With our two very interesting observatories up right next to each other, we can finally get rid of all of these science buildings. Hopefully giving us a beaver or two back. And we're down to just 18 places that need jobs at the moment. I'm guessing at least 10 of them are probably... Well, I didn't even have that up at the max, but... I'm guessing at least 10 of them are here. So there's 13 we can put on hold. Let's go ahead and get rid of this while we're looking at it. Because I'm hoping we don't spill any more. Uh, get that rubble out of the way. There we go. We'll take those down. They should be good to go. And we'll just wait and see if we can catch up on any of the beavers. Or hopefully our bot production speeds up here before too long. They've managed to move all of our grills over here. So I can go through and delete out all of the old ones. Where's that other grill? I swore there was at least one more. Oh well, I'll run into it at some point and delete it out of here. But now they've got grills for everything up here. They've got two four potatoes just to keep the stock going. And we should be alright for that. However... 
that leaves us with a little empty area over here. I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there. These guys are going to have to learn to use the stairs over there. And we'll remove this as well. Let's see. That can go out of there. Yep. And let's get this landscaped for now. Go up to here. Actually, let's remove you too. And that and that. We're going to remove that along. We're going to empty that. And empty all of those. And we will put in those right up to there, I think. We'll let them build that. Although I think I have to turn the terraforming station back on. Yep, there we go. I just had it off because we were low on beavers. So we'll turn it back on and let them at least get started on that. Now that we've got a terrace here built out, we can go ahead and put in a second farm to help out. Let's see, what are we... Generally the lowest on potatoes, oddly enough. So, we're just going to fill this whole area out with potatoes. We'll have to come up with something to make sure this gets irrigated. I have some plans, but we might not get to that right away. So, let's set that up right away for bots. And we will put that in there. And those should be good. And then they can help out with some of these other areas as well. With the help of our observatories, we got up to the needed science much, much faster. So let's go ahead and grab the Fountain of Joy, and we'll see if we can get that in. There we go. We're going to have it face out. There we go. That'll look really nice. We're going to let them work on that. Let's see what else we can get in here as well. Let's get in a ladder. This is definitely going to be temporary. But it hopefully will let us get up to the top so that we can put some stuff in here. Let's see. Do I want... You know what? Actually, let's do two. There we go. We'll do two so we can get up to the very top on all of these. And all of this will come back down. That is definitely not staying with how horribly ugly that looks. But let's see if we can grab... Let's grab wind gauges for each of these. There we go. They don't add any buffs, but they look neat, so we're going to do that. Let's see, what else do we have that we could toss in here? Um, You know what? We might just do small roofs for them. And for that, we will wait till they get the rest of this in there. So we'll go ahead, take this out and around, let them build all of that. Something else I'd also like to get in. Let's get a decoration block maybe up here at the front. How about something like this? There we go. I think that'll work. We'll do something like that. And let them build those in. So now we've got kind of a planted feel going in there. There's a little bit of room here. So let's see, we have scarecrows back there, but we don't have scarecrows up here. Let's grab maybe a couple here. There we go, put a couple in there. I don't know, well, let's just do shrubs here. Some extra shrubs never hurt, right? There's some shrubs. And we have statues. We might actually need some statues in here, too. You know what? Let's do... Can I do statues here that will reach? They don't quite reach over there. Hmm. You don't quite reach either. So, we'll do it this way. Let's do... Two scarecrows coming out here. We'll do the statues on either side. There we go. The statues, or the scarecrows don't quite reach, but we might be able to fix that by putting maybe some up here. Keep an eye on things up top. Let's see. We'll just do that on all the houses. 
instead of gargoyles on the houses, they have scarecrows. Very fitting for the folktales. They got that fountain of joy in a lot faster than I thought they would, and it is causing our well-being to just skyrocket, which is great. They've still got a little work on the roofs here, so we'll check back in with them whenever they get done with that. And there we have it, our complete folktales beaver housing development. I think we're just going to keep this number of beavers from here on out and try and increase the number of bots we have. So hopefully that means we should be okay on all of our food and water. We do need to get a little bit more food variety in here. We'll work on that next time. But... We're just going to call it here for today. So, as always, just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye! Ooh.